Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, uh, my name is Dan. I do videos on fashion style. So for this video, I have about six t-shirts, two button-ups, a jacket, a pair of pants. I'm just gonna go through it quickly, show you what I liked about it, why I picked it up, and I'll show some on-body shots. So let's just get right into it. Starting off with this extra large white Reebok tee. It's plain, nothing crazy. The reason why I picked it up, it was just like a nice basic to have to throw on day to day. It's a little oversized. I bought this at a thrift store for about four bucks. I got two of these actually, one with the Reebok and then one with the Reebok logo. I bought both of them because they were both heavyweight, good for the winter. Fall's coming up eventually, so that'll be good to have. And they're just really easy to wear, really soft, so why not pick them up? It's just a really good fitting t-shirt, so I'll show you what that looks like on. So for next up, we got the same t-shirt, except in a, a gray color, same size, extra large. Again, it was just really easy to buy because four bucks, couldn't really go wrong. I'll be able to get a lot of wear out of it during the fall and winter. So for this one, you just have the Reebok logo, nothing on the back again, same size, extra large. I'll show you what that looks like on. Now, first off for the graphics, I have this graphic t-shirt from this auto body shop near my house. Um, I found this in the thrift store for, I think it was $1.50 or maybe $2. I loved the color, the purple flames, I thought it was really sick. It's a triple extra large. It's really cropped because the guy who ever wore it washed and dried the hell out of it. So, it's really soft. It's even got like some holes and some like oil staining in it. I just love the the color of the flames and the the light gray, and I think it just sits on the body really well. The sleeves are really short, but the shoulders dropped really low, so it gives this nice effect. On the front, you have the little chest graphic where it says Valley Vans, and then it says auto accessories and customizing and it gives the phone number. On the back you have the same graphic just enlarged. You got those purple flames, the valley vans. It's extremely soft so I can wear it when it's hot out and it's very breathable. So I'll show you what that looks like on. So next up for the graphics, we got this forest green graphic with the skull and the wings. Uh, when I first found this in the thrift store, I wasn't a big fan of it. I thought it looked a little corny, but after looking at it for a while, I, I, I grew to like it a lot. The green really gives off this like militaristic vibe when wearing it with like combat boots and uh, cargo trousers. Uh, it's a size extra large, so it's a little oversized. I'm always wearing t-shirts oversized. I never buy like a large or anything. But it, I think it's like a really simple graphic. It's kind of bold that stands out. The black and the white, the contrast. It's just really simple to wear. Nothing too crazy. So I'll show you what that looks like on.
So for the next two t-shirts, they're both from eBay. The first one is this Leonard Skinner Tour shirt from uh, 1993. Whenever I buy a graphic t-shirt, like a band shirt or something, I always try to listen to at least one album and try to pick out a couple songs that I like from each artist. So maybe I'm not the biggest fan, but I always find some songs that I enjoy listening to. But for this one, you got Leonard Skinner in this brown, and then you got this green, like, swamp, like, mirror, I guess. It's so cool. They have, like, the snake. They have, like, a dragonfly. There's, like, a swamp. You see the moon. Uh, there's, like, an eagle right there. And I thought the colors were really sick. Usually Leonard Skinner, you see, like, uh, like, there's always, like, American flag, or it's something with America, red, white, and blue, but this one I feel like was very different. On the back, you got the Leonard Skinner, the Eagle, and the World Tour 1993. It's single stitch, so it's, uh, authentic vintage, and it's just extremely, extremely soft and lightweight. I mean, the person who ever wore this wore the hell out of it. There's some holes in the sleeves that show some, some true wear. It's kind of faded. The graphic is still intact, really. There's no, no cracking or anything. It's definitely kept its condition pretty well. Other than the back cracking, the graphic is kept up in really good condition. The brand of this is Horizon, and it's a size extra large. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like on. So that's the Leonard Skinner t-shirt. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on right now. So for the last graphic shirt, we have this black um, Spawn and Batman t-shirt. The graphic is Spawn looking at Batman and behind Batman is the villain from Spawn and behind Spawn is the villain from Batman, which is of course the Joker. I just really like the aspect of how they were swapped with each other's villains behind them. And I just, I really wanted a Spawn t-shirt and this one I thought was really cool to have and also I like Batman, so it's a simple t-shirt. It's I usually wear like tucked in with some either wide or um, skinny trousers. It's a size, let's see, large, so it's more of a slim fitting t-shirt. I know I just said I don't really wear larges, but this one I really had to get just because of the graphic. So I'll show you what this one looks like on. Next off, I'm going to show two collared shirts. First one being this R2 shirt. I don't know. I got this one at the thrift store for I think it was about like eight bucks. It originally was a long sleeve. I cut the sleeves off. I liked how it looked as a short sleeve, more of a long sleeve shirt. You got the chest pocket right here on the left. It's got a revered collar. It's this, the fabric is this woven tweed. It's like black and white. It's really cool. I love the texture it has. I love the revered collar. Also really long. It's got this split hem, straight bottom. The reason why this shirt's so long, it's extra large tall. So it's got a lot more length to it, which is why I gravitated towards it so much because I'm like six foot one. So longer shirts always fit better on me in my opinion. The back's got the yoke and it's got a little pleat in the back. But yeah, it's a really nice shirt. It's different. I don't have something like this really. Normally I'll wear a button like this. Usually won't wear an undershirt. I'll try to put on some like chains or something to show off the necklaces. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what that looks like on.
up, I have this 2XL uh, black collared shirt. It's from the brand Puritan. I got this at a thrift store for about, I want to say like four or five dollars. So it's got a drop shoulder. The sleeves were a little too long for me, so I'm gonna hem them. Uh, it's got, again, a straight, straight hem. And then it's got the side slits at the bottom. Uh, back yoke. And yeah, it was just really easy to buy because I've been looking for something like this for such a long time. So I'll show you what that looks like on. So this next one I probably won't be able to wear just yet, but it's this triple extra large mock neck uh, sweater or shirt. The reason why I bought this one was because I've been meaning to do a little project on a mock neck long sleeve, um, an oversized one preferably, which this is a triple extra large. So it's a little wide on the neck. It's not really tight, but for the first one, uh, first try, I said, why not do it? It was only about 450, so it wasn't that big of a deal. For the DIY project I have in mind, I'm gonna cut the sleeves, make them into a cap sleeve because I always like wearing cap sleeves. I think it's just a nice silhouette to have. It's got side slits at the side, which is a really nice detail to have. You don't really see that too often, in my opinion, on mock neck long sleeves at thrift stores. So yeah, that's why I picked this one up. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on. We have these vintage Gap blue jeans. They are the easy fit and they're a size 30 by 32. I saw these in the thrift store and I thought they were really cool, a really nice fit. They were extremely baggy, which I've been trying to get into. They're extremely baggy throughout. It's got this straight leg fit. There's no stretch to them. They're just regular cotton, no spandex in it. And I wear them kind of high-waisted because they're a little small on me. There's distressing throughout, whether it be the pockets, either on the front or the back, the thigh, the hem, all over there is just distressing in it. And it's just like, gives it an authentic feel in my opinion. So I'll show you what these look like on. that is it for the video thank you for watching comment which piece was your favorite which one you weren't really feeling subscribe if you want i got a couple more videos that i want to shoot and i want to get some consistent content out so i'll be seeing you guys soon all right have a good one guys peace